Welcome back. I'm here with my buddy Rodriguez Rentals. And we're in his flip right now. And uh, I'm going to try to tell us all a little bit about how you get that stuff done. Yeah, no, pretty simple stuff, man. We he, he says he says simple <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, we got it on terms, five year contract. Uh, there was no electrical, no plumbing, no uh, sewer, so we had that stuff added, permitted. Uh, right now, we just do the flooring, we've done the drywall, we did the mud. Yeah, the vinyl, man. Painted. Look, I know you guys can't see as well as I can, but man, they, yeah. these guys did a really nice oh, job yeah, here. Yeah. This is this so is this some is nice stuff. Be, you know, no transition pieces, which I'm proud about. My brother got the hair and bone going here. Yeah, so I got to show you guys this, man. This is. This is high-level flip stuff right here. This is great. And your guys' plan is to, to list this, right? I believe so, yeah. Luckily, I have nice. a license, so I can save that 2.5%. That's right. Get your. This is a shout-out to get your real estate license. Yeah, yeah. This is done. All the cadet heaters have been added with these touchscreen things here. And Man, that's really nice. See, like when I, I, I just put – see, I've only renovated rentals. Because I, I haven't really like flipped anything but a condo, yep. but I uh, that's nice stuff. You don't put that in rentals. No, it was gonna be a rental, but once yeah. we decided that we we're gonna flip, we thought, okay, we need to get. You know, yeah, you need to start doing the nicer here. stuff. Yeah. I mean, this is almost done here as well. Wow. The windows are new. Everything's new. Yeah, you said uh, you put in some of these windows, huh? Yep. And then right here, we actually have nice. closets and doors coming today with trim. So we'll rip up the, the, the pieces from the flooring, and then we'll get the trim laid and nice. the back bathroom done. And, and look at this. How much money do you think is right here in DeWalt stuff right here? See, this is this is, this is is the barrier to entry people don't talk about when you're talking about flipping. You got like probably like $3,000 worth of equipment here, and that right there is probably just two. That's three grand right there, and you got another three grand right there, and that doesn't include like any materials. That's just the that's just the tools. The Milwaukee tools are where it gets crazy. Oh, you got Milwaukee. Oh, you got, man, they got the Milwaukee and the Dewalt. <laughs> My brother is the uh, electrician, so all this stuff is rubber gated, and it's like really, I mean, it's it's, it's just oh, wow. expensive. That thing right there is probably like forty five bucks. Dude. Man, a forty five dollar yeah, electrician right screwdriver, man, that's right. crazy. That's insane, and there's that uh, that Pex plumbing right. they put throughout the entire yeah, house. Brand new. Were you guys down there putting that plumbing in too? Oh, you know. Oh my gosh, this guy right here, this guy's a this guy's a beast. So all these are all done, so everything's done. Yeah, and these right here, these connect to the uh, the cadet heaters there. See right here, this is what it looks like when you uh, rough it in and everything. It still needs to still needs to be trimmed up, you know, but it, it's there. This coming in. Yeah, this looks nice. Hardware's new. We actually have all the hardware for the um, I can show you that stuff. I'm actually excited about this. We might do it today. Okay, so this is the old tile that was there, and they're going over it. And this is the uh, uh, LVP, right? Uh, yeah. No. Or it's uh, no, this is no, this is um, vinyl. Vinyl. Okay. Yeah, LVP is like a laminate texture. This is actual wood. It's plastic that looks like wood, so it's nice. proof. Uh, it has a pads underneath it, so you don't have to have the laminate underneath it. Or nice, nice. But I'm excited to put this stuff in, and we have the whole shower kit going. Yeah, so shout, shout out to today. these guys right here. That's that's the good yeah, stuff. There you go. That's there the you good go. stuff. Yeah, make sure to uh, make sure to sponsor this video. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do the um, right now. Last thing we got to do really is uh, quick treat this right here, so we can level it. It's a self leveler. Okay. Right so do you guys already do one layer and let it dry? One layer, let it dry. We'll sand it down. We'll do another layer. Okay. Just yeah, so I nice see. Stiff, just so it's nice and level before you put the flooring in, so it doesn't snap the the clips. And then we'll come back and. Is this for? Oh yeah. Here we go. Here's your washer and dryer right here. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a stackable, obviously. Yep. Yep. Um, nice. And then right here we got the marble. So this is this just came in like a week ago. Woo! Everything's new. The cabinets new. The sinks new. We got the faucet there. Uh, nice. we'll, we'll, we're gonna backsplash this with subway tile, and then we'll put the you know outlets covers on there. And wow! Go from there, microwaves on the way, ovens on the way. Yeah, all these all these new cabinets. Yeah. Yeah, this is good quality stuff right here, man. I know all the all the stuff I be uh, all the stuff I be telling you guys is all all my rental grade landlord stuff. This is how the pros do it. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is the high quality stuff. We got the gas fireplace. You guys said you're gonna tile this instead. I mean, this this looks good. I mean, this is yeah. kind of like that, that shiplap type of idea. Literally, and literally, we're gonna paint it black this right here. And yeah. And then trim the bottom, but we yeah. have a lot of excess tiles, so we, and we have a lot of hardy you know, backer board and stuff, so we might as well just throw that up, nail it down, and then just tile. I mean, it, it, it would take three hours to tile this, and so. Right. It's super simple, and it would just look a lot better. And then we have, a, um, I think we're gonna do a marble, 
a marble shelf here. Oh yeah, you guys can get like a remnant piece or something? Piece. Try to get a remnant piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a pro tip, everybody listening. Remnant pieces, when you can when you can get those things or you get them yeah. super cheap. Basically, it's, you know, something that was left over from a job. I mean, shoot, check this. I mean, this is the hardest part of this deck, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a little, a little outside action here. This deck was built in like three days, I think we did it, but... That's what's behind your guys' electrical panel. Uh, yeah. So for all you guys who haven't ever taken one of those off, that's why you don't take those off. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This deck, there was nothing here. It was, it was empty. So we built this whole deck. Wow. Um, it stretches around it's like a 30 by 30. Wow. Oh, well, you guys do siding too? Yeah, we did the siding. Oh, the tram. Jesus, yeah. man. We're going to caulk it and paint it here shortly. Uh, and, and, and pro tip right here, right here. These are the uh, the star screw pieces right here. <laughs> and they're galvanized. If, yeah. If so they... So, yeah, tell them. Uh, so if you really want to pro tip, every time you put... A lot of people split the wood, so when you're doing the yeah. wood, oh, go yeah. backwards first. Yeah. So you run it reverse, and then you drill it forward, so it loosens up the wood so you don't get the splits. Yeah, exactly, That's yeah. And well, and, and I'm glad you said that, because like the way that I've had seen people do it is you have to, um, you have to, what's that called when you, when you drill in it first? Yeah. Like a pilot hole? Yeah. Like, yeah, like a pilot hole? Oh my God, doing that a million time. times? You'll, yeah, you're cool. switching just, bits. Just and go reverse. Sorry, I know you're recording a video of two things. No, it's great. You're uh, part of the video. Three needs us at the property so we can unload some stuff. Two, okay. um, dealing with the Airbnb stuff right now. And the dryer stopped working at the Airbnb. Okay. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. Too. All right. And then right here we're going to do a staircase on this side and a staircase on the other side. But it sounds like we got some stuff to do, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly see problem problem with yeah like hey do like mtv cribs or whatever and be like peace get out of my get out of my house yeah <laughs> um but yeah that's what it's like when you guys you know when you guys want to be uh want to to be investors right like this is this is what you deal with right you got to deal with neighbors you got to deal with um you know your airbnb you got to deal with contractors you got to deal with materials man this is a nice deck though this is a nice deck. It's really nice. Yeah, so basically this, this I guess this house was put here at some point. Didn't have water, didn't have electrical, nothing like that at all. And uh, they basically just kind of transformed this entire house. It's very impressive stuff. <clears throat> but I mean, yeah, look at this. I mean, you got your foundation stuff, concrete. I mean, they're, they're just, <laughs> there's so much landscaping they're gonna have to do. Wonder if they're gonna do a driveway. Look at that concrete they pulled out of there. I mean. I don't even know how they did half of this stuff. So like this is the stuff like something like this, I would not necessarily advocate for somebody to get started doing things like this. Cause it's just, it's a lot of work, right? Like that's, that's hard work, you know? And uh, I mean, these guys are obviously pros. They're working at it 12 hours a day, right? Cause this is their investment. Um, but me, like I've never done anything like this. I've never done any like super hard work where it's, you know, well, not, not saying I haven't done hard work, but but basically, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of upfront capital, right? Like they're doing a lot of work and they're trying to make this money, which they're going to. I mean, I, I think, I think after talking to them about the comps and the ARV and, and the neighbor's house and, and, and all that stuff. I mean, I think there's, they're definitely going to make six figures on this, on this flip. And, uh, I mean, that's awesome. You know, I mean, how many people can make six figures and they've been working on this, uh, I think for a couple months, but you know, Hey, if they can do this three times a year, that's 300,000, right? You know, if, if you keep buying right and you keep doing all the right stuff, <clears throat> obviously like they're going to come back in here and, and caulk those gaps and everything like that. And then they're going to do paint. I guess that big window was, uh, out in the front. Oh yeah. Very important. You guys, <laughs> when doing renovations, you are going to end up with a lot, a lot of junk. So be prepared. You got to have a, <laughs> got to have a nice, a nice trailer <laughs> so you can get everything to the dump. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be dealing with a lot of stuff. You guys, this is a lot of work, you know, and I just wanted to show you guys, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, I, not only am I an investor, I know other investors. Um, you know, I drove an hour because I wanted to make this video for you guys. Wanted to show you kind of what it's like when people are, are doing like the hard stuff, right? This is, this is none of this. You know, I mean, they make it look easy, but this is, this is really nice. I think they, they said they're going to do a new roof or it needs a new roof. So I just want to show you guys the most important thing is to get, to get into these, um, 
these places with other people, right? And, and, and learn, right? I mean, I, I don't know everything. I'm not, you know, a construction guy. So walking through these properties, seeing the work that's done, seeing, you know, all the improvements, you know, where did they spend money? Where didn't they spend money? All that stuff's really important because you want to make sure that when you spend money, you're spending on the right stuff. Peace.